it is not it is correct to say that the uh, the office of the vice president the incumbent one you're you're really asking for 2.3 billion you ask for that you ask for the 2.3 billion pesos Tama ba, Kevin? Yes, sir. We have consulted the DBM. Yeah, so the, then DBM just DBM gave you the full amount that you requested. Okay. So okay, let's now go to uh, one item which I'm also being asked. Because as, as as a legislator, tinatanong din ako doon about the uh, confidential fund. Kano ba ito? Uh, like to acknowledge. Uh, also vice chair of the committee and the chairman of the committee on basic education uh senator win gatsalian afternoon sir okay i have to ask this uh madam vice president and to your staff because i'm also being asked as a as a legislator uh this is sabinila this is a first for the ovp i do not know if it, that is a correct or not but a 500 million peso allocation for confidential funds so apparently siguro when the Last uh, office of the vice president made the submission during the budget call. There was no confidential fund, and then this, the new office of the vice president asked for 500 million. May we, may we know how? Before uh, I give the floor to the vice president, with your permission, minority leader, dear colleagues, just to state for the record that the OVP, just to place things in perspective, now, your honors, the OVP, uh, I'm looking at the records, received. Uh, confidential or intelligence funds for 13 years from year 2000 to 2012 your honor so uh, th that's just to place that on the record uh, may, may was it uh, confidential or intelligence but i think uh, there's, a was, difference, there's a difference there was no distinction your honor until 2011 when it became i think there was a distinction made between confidential which were given to civilian agencies whereas intelligence is given to I think, I hope I'm not wrong, Your Honor. Yes. I, I'll uh, subject this to some collatelia, but uh, I think intelligence is given to them, the military and the so now, security agencies, Your Honor. So proper terminology now would be confidential. I think yes. proper terminology that, now is... That is how I understand. Yes, Your Honor. So, uh, it may have been given before, let us say, in amounts of uh, 5 million pesos in one year, but this time, because 500 million pesos in one year. So may we know how uh, how are we also to answer the questions asked of us how to justify this uh, item in the OVP's budget? Yes, um, yes. Uh, I'd like to repeat the manifestation of uh, Senator Angara, Your Honor. Um, since two thousand three to two thousand twelve, there were. Um, funds, intel and confidential funds that were granted at the office of the vice president. And um, as to the uh, amount, your honor, and the propriety of the confidential funds, as we have manifested in the House of Representatives, uh, we leave it to the honorable members of uh, the Senate uh, to decide on this matter, your honor. Thank you, thank you, Madam Vice President. So, when you made that statement, pala, that refers is uh, exactly to the same item in the in the budget. So, so thank you for thank you for that. Uh, and then, ang nakikita ko lang po kasi is uh, we are going to the plan is also to build a, a permanent home for the office of the Vice President, and I think there is an amount here of uh, 10 million for land acquisition so have we have we already identified the specific lot that we are that we intend to acquire or purchase for the permanent home of the OVP so yes your honor uh, right now we are talking to GSIS of uh, properties under them that can be uh, donated or sold to the office of the vice president as a permanent property of uh, the office of the vice president uh, we initially allotted 10 million for thinking of a down payment just to secure the contract for uh, next year and then ask for additional uh, amounts for uh, multi-year payments of uh, the property do we already have uh, an idea Madam Vice President of the 
total acquisition cost of the lot and then do we have uh, an idea already now of the total cost of the structure itself uh, right now sir we are looking at one property only and that is the coconut palace uh, but there is no amount yet uh, identified or given by uh, GSIS but uh, we are still looking at other properties as well uh, of the government that can be used uh, given to the office of the vice president for a permanent office at least we know the medium to long term plan of the office of the vice president so kasi tatanong ko nga sana yun how, why not use the coconut palace yun pala this time, it's a purchase of the uh, possible purchase of the coconut palace and maybe re renovation to accommodate yung mga museum, something ng mga, mga, mga plano po natin. Well, at any rate, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, so once we acquire, once what is the plan, uh, Madam Vice President, once we have this permanent home, uh, we will no longer maintain the satellite offices that we are currently maintaining? Um, Your Honor, we still continue, we still intend to continue the satellite offices because uh, these are the offices that uh, cascade down the projects of the central office. Particularly when we came in, we saw that the medical and burial assistance of the office of the Vice President, which started during the uh, term of uh, Vice President Nolly De Castro, was concentrated in the NCR area. So these the satellite offices deliver those um, assistance to the areas where we established them. Then, siguro talagang tinangkilik yun, ano? The, the our constituents really availed of the medical and uh, burial services. Well, uh, nakita ko rin po yung mga effort natin to give a lot of services to our people. Oh, we have food trucks, peace, 911, Pagbabago. And we have this libreng sakai, but of course, when we try to replicate what the entire government is doing, it will really cost us. Uh, it will cost us a lot, and we really cannot afford it. Kaya napansin ko rin po sa libreng sakai, we have, only, we have three trans, free transportation, but five buses. We need to say we are limited to five areas siguro because kailangan predictable din yung... Uh, services so that's uh, that's just an observation uh, Mr. Chairman Mad Madam Vice President na siguro we should just select the uh, services that yung talagang uh, kailangan 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 ng taong bayan at saka hindi na hindi na si binibigay ng ibang Ahensya. Kasi for example, itong libreng sakay, DOTR, dito naman sa Metro Manila, tapos may mga fuel subsidy programs din, pati ang PNOC, ano, gusto rin nila mag-offer na gano'n. So, uh, as part of the medium-term fiscal framework of the Marcos administration, gusto rin nila yung fiscal consolidation, yung mga... Uh, economies of scale. Uh, Pinag-aralan ko po, rin, po kasi rin yung MTFF ng Marcos administration. So, so siguro uh, uh, we, we can uh, we, we should not try to replicate the entire government setup through the office of the Vice President. May, may, may we get your reaction now? Yes, uh, thank you, um, Honorable Senator. Uh, yes, sir, uh, we are not uh, duplicating or replicating the existing Libring Sakai of the Department of Transportation. In fact, uh, the buses, sir, were lent to the Office of the Vice President, which we lent to the uh, DOTR. So instead of the DOTR renting buses, they have free five buses from the OVP, for which uh, they don't pay for uh, the lease of the buses, except that the... So that